what percent are you being in your life? So if you look at your life, what percentage are you judging? What percentage are you choosing? What percentage are you being? What percentage are you happy? What percentage are you being? Is it more or less than 1%? And what if you were being you 100% and everything that doesn't allow that and everything that makes that a non-reality or an impossibility, will you guys destroy it and create it, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, all nine. Pod, puck, shirts, boys and beyonds. What strengthens being? And what erodes or eliminates being? So what erodes being? Judgment. Judgment is a being killer. Judgment is a being killer. Thinking is a being killer. Remember, thinking is the lower harmonic of knowing. So when you're in the lower harmonic of knowing or perceiving you're going to be eroding all the perceiving, knowing, being, and receiving. So what erodes being, and you have to start to look at, it's like, are you, do you honor your being with the choices that you make, with the way that you think, or are you dishonoring of your being? And are you valuing being on a whole, or is being something that you ignore or don't choose. Um, something else I read in one of the resources I was looking at this morning before this was uh, Gary talks about how most people have to prove that they're being. So if you're ever proving that you're being, or if you ever feel that you need to prove yourself in any way, that's an indication that you're not being in that area. If you ever feel that you need to prove yourself in any way, or you're not getting acknowledged enough, or you're not getting validated enough, or there, you, there's some sort of way that you need to prove something to someone, including yourself, that means that you're not being in that area. So that could be a rule of thumb um, for you guys to recognize. Um, <laughs> what being are you refusing with the problems that you're choosing? 